So exam time can be pretty intimidating. Um, so I thought I'd give you guys four tips that I wish I got when I used to write exams. So the first tip is to slow things down. When you're sitting there with a paper in front of you and you're reading through it, slow things down. Don't try to rush too much because a lot of students just keep an eye on the clock and they just want to rush through that paper because they're scared that they're not going to get everything done in the time. And then they end up making so many mistakes. Rather go for quality. You need to try and go through all the work, obviously, but don't rush through it. Make sure that you answer uh, the questions precisely and concisely and make sure that you read through every single question uh, properly before going on to the next question. And that brings me to my second tip, which is read through the question uh, in full before jumping to any conclusions. What I used to do is I used to read the first half of the question and then my mind would already be thinking about the answer instead of reading through the whole question before thinking about what is this question really asking me. Um, if you don't do this, you will end up making terrible mistakes and it's something that I um, struggled with at a stage. Um, so make sure that you read through the question uh, completely um, and a tip that I can give you to help you with this is read through the question twice before um, thinking about the answer. This is really going to help you understand what the question asks. It's going to help you understand the core of the question which is going to help you get to the answer quicker. So by investing a little bit more time in understanding the question, you're going to um, come to an answer much better. So tip number three is writing on your paper. And what I mean by that is make notes, underline words that you think have importance and use it to jot down your idea. If you're someone that reads through your paper before starting and you read a question and you think of oh, this, quickly make a note, write it down on next to the question so that you'll remember it. Um, as soon as you have an idea, don't think to yourself, I'll remember it later. Just quickly jot it down before moving on. This can help you a great deal because then your mind doesn't have to keep remembering about that thing that you need to remember for the, uh, another question later down the road while working on a question that you're currently busy on. So definitely make use of this technique. It's very valuable. And also underline key words. Um, if you read through a question that asks for something specific, if they ask for um, uh, a measurement in millimeters or something, underline that millimeter so that you can remember to convert if you need to convert. Um, this is really a very, very good technique to use, so make sure to make use of it. And my fourth tip is to simply don't get discouraged. If you're reading through your paper and the first couple of questions just seem insanely intense and you have no freaking clue of what's going on, move on. You don't have to answer your question paper in sequential order. You can start at question number 10 if you feel like it, um, just to build your confidence. So start with questions that are a little bit easier or questions that you've got more confidence in, areas that you know really, really well. Start with those areas, build your confidence, and then move on to questions that you thought were impossible. And often you'll find that those impossible questions don't seem as impossible once you overcome that fear and you've built your confidence a little bit. So make sure to do that. Um, and also if, you, if you're going through your question paper and there's a question that you can't answer, just skip it and then when you've done all the questions, go back to those questions that you battled with. So I hope these tips are going to help you make use of them and if you've got any other tips for other students, drop them in the comments below. Good luck with the studying and go and get those good marks.